in everyone's job nowadays, you have to use a computer. Um, so if you want to be in control of the computer and spend your time more wisely, then computer science is a good choice. Computer science is a, is a field which has a, a big array of really interesting topics and at Manchester they study everything from you know, the basics of how to put together a computer all the way up to sort of uh, crazy theoretical things which I, I never have imagined being you know, uh, possible to understand and never imagined uh, being such fun. The teaching we do here in Manchester is built on three foundations if you like and that's the people who are doing the teaching, the way that we conduct the teaching and the place where the teaching actually occurs. So this three-pronged approach is, is quite unique. There's a lot of information in each yeah. The people are world-leading experts in their research field and so these guys are at the forefront of their work and they know what they should be teaching to really future-proof the teaching for the students. The teaching style we have is very personal so because we've got quite a lot of staff our staff to student ratio is really low and so that means we can have a more personal experience with our students even though the school itself is quite large. In my third year I built a 3D printer which is a machine which takes uh, 3D models of uh, physical objects and then turns them into, into real things that you can hold in your hand. So my project supervisor was a, a great sort of starting point to, to find out about all the things I needed to get going with my project and he provided me with sort of resources both in terms of equipment and you know places to look for, for new knowledge. And one of the great things about the department was uh, whatever I got stuck on there was always a member of staff somewhere who it is their day in day out job to, to understand this stuff and I could just go to their office and you know have a chat about whatever it was that I was stuck on and they'd go through it with me and you know help out it was it was really encouraging and this is not really the the emphasis of your project at school there's well hundreds of computers that you can use at any time you're able to log in from home to be able to use them they've got really good access hours so you can come in at the weekends and stay late to get the work done the school has a range of resources from technical things like the clean rooms and the electronics facilities all the way to social stuff like big open spaces to work on ideas like the collabs as well as places just to relax after lectures and you know sofas just to you know wind down after a new topic there's an excellent um, community of students here already and so students when they arrive will be inducted into this student community immediately. Um, and these, this community is very active, it runs lots of social events but it also runs lots of events that are to do with extracurricular programming activities, hacking activities, hackathons. At university we entered a competition called um, the Microsoft Imagine Cup. We entered that in our second year and we our entry was designed to help reunite those who've been separated by war and natural disaster. We won the national round and we went to the global finals in Poland. Then when we came back we uh, talked to one of the lecturers here and worked on our idea a bit and submitted a research proposal. That was granted to us and we worked on that for a year and we were then featured in the MEN uh, talking about that project. We have lots of links with the local um, computer science community and lots of links with programming and computer communities within the Northwest. And so there's lots of industrial contact and industrial visits extracurricular set up by students, not by the school, but by students um, for the kind of things that they're interested in from computer science that might not be the kind of academic outcomes that we're looking for, but they're the kind of fun and exciting outcomes that they are looking for. A Man Up is a society uh, that we set up in our third year. It stands for Manchester Ultimate Programming. We originally decided to set Man Up when we sort of saw the hacker culture that they had in like Stanford and MIT and we wanted to create something here uh, that had the same feel to it. We thought it would be interesting if we could have somewhere where um, if you made something you'd be able to go and show off to other people um, what you've made and they'd be able to see it and well, maybe comment on it or get inspired to make something themselves and sort of we'd all be pushing each other to do interesting things. Uh, there are weekly meetings in which people come and uh, give talks about things that they've 
done or projects, applications, and so on, or they just give a short tutorial on a programming language. Outside of the courses, people are working on interesting sort of side projects, which have been a heck of a lot of fun. And of course, it builds on stuff you've learned in the courses, and it really helps get you, you know, a bit more practical experience. So there's a there's a lot of people really interested in in doing things and trying them out. Oh, you can see how it's moving up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to create and train people to be proactive problem solvers, so that they have this there's this concept called computational thinking, um, and we're trying to teach these people computational thinking. Now, can people who do computer science have a way of looking at the world which is quite abstract, um, and that allows them to solve abstract problems, and that's very in demand in lots of different companies. We have students who go to Barclays, students who go to pharmaceutical companies, to UBS, to EA Games, and these are all companies that don't really do technology as you might imagine them, but they have problems they need solving. Since graduating, um, I've been getting started with uh, a PhD project uh, here in the same department. One of the great things about uh, Manchester is they have a programme called the CDT where you, you start off from your undergraduate programme and you do some master's courses to get, get a feel for the sort of advanced topics that you're wanting to research. Um, and then move on to sort of full-time research as a sort of as a gradual process. So at the moment I'm sort of halfway through this transition and finding out all about the sort of topics I'm interested in and at the same time sort of narrowing down my research area. So I'm, I'm hoping to work with the uh, Advanced Processor Technologies Group working on their million core computer called Spinnaker. So we have a lot of successful postgraduates who have been have studied at this school and there are a lot of postgraduates who are out there in the working environment who are at reasonably you know, high levels for their age because of the training that they've got here. So we have people who go to Google, uh, we've got people who now work for the BBC, a head of the uh, research and development areas in the BBC. And so we have lots of success stories. That's the good thing about computer science in Manchester. There's not just one or two people that we can pick out and say, these are our successors. Pretty much most of the people that we graduate are successful and they have their own success story, which is, which is really excellent actually for for the opportunities afterwards. So the first path that applicants can take to learn more about the courses and more about the, what we offer here in Manchester and computer science in Manchester is to really look on the website. All of the information is quite easily accessible there and then once those applicants decide that they think that this is a good place that, that they might be interested in then just sign up to one of the open days or even just turn up to an open day you don't necessarily need to sign up come to an open day, see the actual infrastructure the set yourselves, meet the staff, meet the students, see the kind of environment you'll be working in. And then once that's been complete, you'll then get an invite if you apply um, to come to see us, come for a visit, um, come for an interview. And once you've got your offer, then we start really from that point. So we have an applicant tutor and that applicant tutor will look after you from the time you apply until the time you actually come to Manchester or indeed go somewhere else. And you can ask that applicant tutor anything you like about computer science both in Manchester, computer science in general, or computer science at other universities if you feel Manchester's not the right place because we want our students to be happy to be here.